This is the slice of a breast, and this would be the superior, this would be inferior, this is anterior, and this is posterior. So let's look at the normal structures first. Um, overlying the breast, of course, is the skin, and it appears that the nipple is included as well. Then there is the breast parenchyma, and there is deep to this, the skeletal muscle of the pectoralis. I will leave you to figure out what this is later on. Let's just turn it around to have a look at the opposite surface. I think the pathology is much more readily seen on the opposite surface. Again, we have the pectoralis muscle, the breast parenchyma, and we have the overlying skin. So what we are seeing here is an irregular pale tan mass. In some areas, it appears to be fairly well demarcated, but in other areas like this, you can sort of see that it infiltrates into the breast parenchyma, and I can't really draw a good line between this and the breast parenchyma. So this suggests an invasive growth pattern, and um, it is very fleshy in appearance. You are able to see a few paler geographic irregular areas, and these are likely to represent necrosis. There is another area here. So this is a breast malignancy, and of course the most likely malignancy in the breast is a breast carcinoma. Now we know that these are invasive tumours, and therefore we need to assess the extent of local invasion. And we want to look at structures it can invade to, which is anteriorly into the skin. This is important in the TNM staging. Posteriorly, it can also invade into the pectoralis muscle. So if we look carefully here, it does not appear that it is directly invading into the muscle, at least not grossly. I would take a microscopic section from here to examine to see whether my gross impression is confirmed. Turning it around, again, it does not really appear to be directly invading into the muscle. Here is the mass on this surface. Now, is it going into the skin? We can see that the nipple appears to be retracted here. Um, and this is possibly one of the clinical presentations that this patient may have. Um, however, I do not see that the tumour is directly invading into the skin. As uh, you can see over here, it's not going right into the skin. It's probably causing retraction because of a little bit of the stromal reaction uh, deep to the nipple. Now, we talked about this other tissue piece that is separate. If you look carefully, you can see that this is adipose tissue, which looks very much like the adipose tissue in the breast parenchyma. And we see a few nodules. If you look carefully, you can actually pick out two other nodules, a couple of other nodules over here. And this is, in fact, um, axillary tissue with the presence of some axillary lymph nodes. Obviously, this lymph node is markedly enlarged. It's much bigger than these two lymph nodes. Not only that, it also looks different. The cut surface is paler. Um, in fact, if you look at the cut surface and you compare it to that of the tumour, it actually looks fairly similar. So this is an example of metastatic breast carcinoma involving the axillary lymph nodes. These two nodes look grossly quite normal, but we would need to examine them under the microscope to make absolutely sure there are no microscopic metastases. So in summary, we have a fleshy, irregular, tan mass in the breast, and this appears uh, to be still confined within the breast parenchyma. It does not appear to be invading into the underlying pectoralis muscle or the overlying skin, although there is nipple retraction. And in addition, we have metastatic carcinoma in the axillary lymph nodes. So you can see that in this specimen, we are able to perform the local T staging of the specimen, confirming it with microscopy, and also the N staging once we examine all the axillary lymph nodes. So the diagnosis is breast carcinoma with axillary lymph node involvement.